Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. Sometimes I like to make videos with a few ideas for storylines and challenges that you could play out in The Sims 4 to add a bit more spice to your game. And I'm at it again today. So today we're going to talk about 10 storylines and challenges that you can play in The Sims 4. Some are funny, some are cruel, and some involve mods. I tried to have a good mix of having some with and some without mods this time around, so if you're a console player, there should still be a good few storylines in here that you can play too. So, let's begin. Number 1. Forbidden Love Jessica and Matt fell head over heels the moment they saw each other. It was the definition of love at first sight. Matt asked Jessica to dinner. Jess was so excited she had to tell her mum all about it. Matt's dad gave him a pep talk before the meal and off they went. The date went swimmingly. Before the night ends, they share their first kiss and continue to date each other until they decide it's finally time to make things official. Matt asks Jessica if she'd like to find a place to live with him and officially become his girlfriend. She doesn't think twice before accepting and before you know it, they've moved into their own place and settled in as a couple. Here's the thing though. They need to have their parents meet each other before they do anything else. They're all family now, after all. So they set up a little soiree. This is where shit hits the fan. Turns out, Matt's parents are mortal enemies with Jessica's parents. They have a long history and despise each other. Who knew? Despite the hatred between the families, Matt and Jessica decide they're sticking together. So they do. But they're both family-oriented sims, so every time they have a need to celebrate, like a wedding, a new baby, or Christmas, the whole family has to come over. Can they ever build bridges between their feuding families over time? Will they ever have a birthday party that's not awkward, or a Christmas day not spent breaking up fights? That's for you to decide. Forbidden love. Number two, Travis. Travis grew up in a very rough part of Oasis Springs. Gang violence was everywhere, and anyone involved in a gang had to sleep with one eye open. You'll probably want life tragedies and base mental gangs for this one. Travis's dad was unfortunately deep within the gang life and held a high position. Trouble was, this just made him a moving target, and the inevitable happened. The story starts just as Travis's parents have both been killed by a rival gang. Travis is only a teen and is now responsible for his little sister. In a dog-eat-dog -dog world, Travis knows he has to get involved in the violence to be able to provide any kind of life for his sister. He can't imagine the thought of her being taken away by the social worker, so he becomes her legal guardian. The pair were left penniless after their parents' death and are just a few expenses away from losing their home. Travis knows he has to take action. So he stops going to school. You can use the drop out of school mod to do this. And whilst his little sister goes to school, Travis gets shit done. He robs people, he kidnaps people for ransom money. He does everything he can in this cruel world to survive making sure he's back home in time for his little sister to know nothing, and so that he can help her with her homework. The point of this story is to play through the journey Travis goes through to bring the pair out of poverty and into a position where they can afford a home outside of the crime zone. Hopefully by that point the little sister has a good enough upbringing that she has a bright future and can enrol in college, but even if she does, one thing's for sure and that's that she's never leaving her brother's side. Guys, I'll give you a minute to grab a tissue before we move on to the next one. Number three, Sneaky Sneaky Savannah. This is Savannah, and Savannah loves her some cock. The only thing she loves more than cock is sneaky cock. You see, Savannah is a popular lady. She has many friends around town and even has her own exclusive book club with the girls. Savannah sadly lost her husband a few years ago. He tragically died in an accidental fire that she started and then she accidentally didn't call the fire department, so he accidentally perished. With her husband six foot under, Savannah was left with a thirst for cock that needed to be quenched. So she came up with a cunning plan. This storyline involves thinking on your feet and 
total sneakiness. Savannah is going to get her fix from her friend's husbands, and she'll earn her keep by asking them for hush money. She needs to maintain her position as leader of the book club though, so it's important that her friends don't suspect a thing. You'll need to pay attention to this one, because we all know sims that have a high romantic relationship will automatically try and be sexy with each other, even if their other partner is around. Because they're fucking stupid. So you'll need to make sure that you don't get caught. Number four, because I got high. What do you think of when you think of college? That's right, getting high. University comes with its own challenges when it comes to The Sims. Not only do you have to make sure your Sim is on top of their homework and studying regularly, but you'll also have to make sure that their needs are taken care of. But even though there's all that to consider, getting through university is still pretty easy in comparison to the earlier games. So here's a way to challenge yourself while getting your sim through college. Play as three sims completing four courses and give them an addiction to weed. Your sims will always want to get high in between classes, which is not only hilarious, but it also poses quite a challenge when it comes to keeping these boys focused on school. You stoned little rascals. Imagine the sense of achievement you'd feel if you can successfully get these stoner douchebags all the way through college. Good luck! Number 5. Sweet Home Sim Labama. Full disclosure, I got the title from a few comments in some of my family tree videos. I'm personally not sure what Alabama has to do with complicated family trees, but I assume there's a connection somewhere. So thanks for that one, viewers. The purpose of this challenge is to create a town full of people that are very well acquainted with each other. In fact, they all share the same family tree. I would recommend using Newcrest to do this. Place two households to start with, and then start working your magic. Every sim has a baby with every sim they can. Obviously, sims who are closely biologically related cannot have children together, but there are some loopholes. For example, when I recently started this challenge, I had my sim have a baby with their half-sibling's grandparent. They weren't blood-related, so they could. Keep mixing all the possible combinations until you have filled the neighbourhood of Newcrest with a range of sims who are in some way related to each other. Whether they married their cousin's dad or their sister's uncle, keep it in the family. Number six, The Sims is a Canvas. Quite a short one, really. And this is not my storyline. This is a storyline laid out for you by your favourite movies, TV shows or video games. The good thing about The Sims is that you can, in theory, recreate anything you want, especially if you have mods and custom content. This is actually a really fun thing to do. I had a whale of a time recreating Mean Girls, a storyline that goes really well with the Life's Drama mod by Sacrificial. I also had a great time recreating the first Life is Strange game in The Sims. You'd be hard pushed to find something that you can't recreate in The Sims, so get replicating. Number seven, Pete the Perv. This is a bit of a twist on rags to riches. You start off as an adult male sim, preferably not the most attractive, but he has big dreams. During his adulthood, he works incredibly hard and does pretty much everything he can to afford a nice big house. It isn't until he's an old man that he feels fully financially satisfied. At such a late stage in his life, he decides he doesn't want to have the wife or kids, he instead wants to be the next playboy. I would suggest using the Sugar Life mod for this one. Your sim is going to start off with just one girlfriend, a sim who doesn't live with your sim, but comes over when you call. You take her out for dinner, and at least once a week give her an allowance. At this point, you should have worked hard enough as an adult to be able to afford at least one or two more girlfriends, following the same rule for each. This doesn't have to be a sneaking around situation, maybe use wonderful whims to allow polygamy, but the main goal here is to have and maintain at least three girlfriends at the same time. By maintain, of course I mean take them each out on a date once a week, have them stay over at least one night a week, and of course it goes without saying that the girlfriends will be expecting gifts on each date. And don't forget the allowance! If for whatever reason you can't afford to maintain these relationships, you'll have to drop a girlfriend and end that relationship. 
Have fun, you dirty old pervs. Number eight, living in the real world. Ever wondered what it would be like to fully break the immersion of The Sims? Well, you can. This probably isn't news to you, but it does make a pretty good challenge in my opinion. Make a save file that is as similar to the real world as possible. Use Alpha CC for creating your Sims and their homes. Play the game with mods designed to bring realism to the game, like the dental overhaul, woohoo wellness and the healthcare system. That way, your sim has to go through the tediousness of everyday life, like brushing their teeth, getting dental work done, going for checkups, going to the doctor, having to use condoms so not to get diseases, and going through realistic pregnancy appointments if your sim gets knocked up. I would also recommend paying a visit to the Around the Sims website because they do a lot of realistic looking clutter items that you can use to make your sim's home look super realistic. And also, if your sim goes on a trip or leaves the house, they should only go to places that are from the real world. So what I mean by that is, if your sim wants to go get some new threads, they can only go to the sims version of real stores, like Forever 21. And if they want to go out to eat, they have to go to places based on real world restaurants, like McDonald's. Let me know how you get on with this challenge, I might even give this one a try myself. I've dipped my toes in this before, but I haven't gone full on with this yet. Let me know if you'd want to see a video like this in the future. Number 9. Hands Off Parenting This is more of a challenge than a storyline, but basically your mission is to run a successful household. Successful as in, kids with good manners, empathy, responsibility and A grades at school. Here's the thing though, you cannot at any point control the kids. Everything they do has to be influenced by the parent. How easy is it for your kids to get A grades and good character values now? You can up the difficulty by playing as a single parent if you want. I find it easier to control just one sim anyway, but I'd consider raising three children to have A grades at school and high character values as quite the challenge. Number 10. Secret Cult This is Dave. Dave seems like a normal guy, right? He's in his 40s, he lives with his parents, he works a steady job and has the occasional pint at the pub. But Dave is sick of this life. Dave wants change. So he decides to start a cult. The cult is quite modest at the beginning, but over time, Dave's smooth talking manages to win over the hearts of many sims. And before you know it, he's built quite a following. You'll want the cult mod for this one, but the main reason why Dave started the cult was because he loved the power he knew it would bring him, and when you have power, it's a lot easier to get money. Dave manages to brainwash so many of his followers into giving him all of their money, finally allowing him the ability to move out of his parents' place and turn his new home into a full-blown cult lair. How far can he take this? That's up to you to decide. So, there are 10 funny and cruel storylines and challenges you can play out in The Sims 4. Which one was your favourite? Did you like any of them? Let me know in the comments. That's it from me though. I'd love to hear all about your storyline ideas and challenges in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.